Hey, how's it going guys? Mr. Boss for the win here, and in today's Grand Theft Auto 5 video, we are going to be doing a Q&A of sorts, but this one isn't going to be related to anything in particular in Grand Theft Auto or GTA Online or even Grand Theft Auto 5. This one is going to be more of a, I guess, personal Q&A where you guys ask me questions about my life, maybe other video games, other aspects. It's something I asked on Twitter earlier today, and it's been a few months since we've really done something like this. In fact, I think it's been closer to five or six months near towards the summer of last year when I did a very similar Q&A like this. And I think it's good to do them every once in a while so that you can get to know me a little bit more. And if you have any more questions or maybe something I didn't get to touch on in this this video, let me know in the comment section and I'll do my best to try to reply uh, to each and every one of your comments. So without the way, let's not waste any more time and let's get it started. All right, so we've got a lot of questions today. So instead of doing like the typical five to six that we do in a normal GTA Q&A where I elaborate pretty in detail about the topic we're going on, we're going to be looking at a lot of questions today and some of them might have some shorter answers. So that's why we're looking at so many. However, our first one today comes from Brandon. He tweets at me, what is your biggest achievement? in life and what would you like your biggest achievement in the future to be? Hashtag ask boss. Okay, so to date, by far, I would say my biggest achievement is surpassing 1 million subscribers on YouTube. That's got to be by far the craziest thing I think I've ever done. And in terms of like sheer numbers, I know there's only like 2000 YouTube channels that have over a million subscribers on YouTube, which is an insanely low amount considering the number of channels that exist exist on YouTube. And it's even a crazier amount when you think of there's probably less than 2,000 people because I know there's a lot of big YouTubers that have second channels or gaming channels or vlogging channels that all have over 1 million subscribers. So I know collectively there's definitely fewer than 2,000 people in the entire world considering there's like 7 or 8 billion people on this planet. And to know that I'm kind of in a crazy group of such a small amount of people is just insane. Now as far as the future goes, I'm really not too sure. I really like to take things one day at a time because you never know how your life might change or you know how you might have an opportunity or how you might meet someone that will ultimately change your life. But I think for right now, I'm just living in the moment. I'm extremely happy, very fortunate, very thankful for all that I have in terms of YouTube and other aspects of my life. But certainly achieving that 1 million subscriber goal was huge. And I still don't have my gold play button. I ordered it like 12 weeks ago and I still don't have it. It's That's a video I want to do so badly is unboxing that gold play button. But I don't have it. It's not there. And I, for whatever reason, it's, it's like still, they're still working on it. They're still mining the gold or something like that. I really don't know. But, but as soon as I get that in, I will definitely be sure to let you guys know also. Our next question comes from Owen and he tweets at me, hashtag ask boss, what was your dream job when you was a kid? So you guys are going to laugh at this one and you're probably going to make fun of me. And I think I've told this in previous videos, but, and I'm not even joking here. When I was a little kid, I wanted to be a garbage man. I'm not even joking. I thought that the fact that they got to ride on the back of trucks and they got to like hang on by a handle when they were driving around, I thought that was the coolest thing in the world. So I was like, for the longest time, I wanted to be a garbage man. I was like, you know what? That would be so cool to ride on the back of those trucks, you know, the wind in your hair and in your face. But I clearly and soon figured out that that was a less glamorous job than it seemed, like obviously going through garbage, picking up garbage. But yes, when I was a youngster, I did want to be a garbage man. I, I Again, I'm sure you guys have very similar situations, but I, I just thought mine's particularly funny. Our next question comes from Dylan and he tweets at me, hashtag ask boss, what other games do you enjoy and what did your parents think when you started doing YouTube full time? So I enjoy a bunch of other games, believe it or not. Obviously, I'm a huge fan of Fallout. I obviously like The Division, been playing that. Love Rocket League. I play at least like two or three matches of Rocket League every day. I think it's a blast. I love FIFA as well. I used to be really big into the Call of Duty games. Uh, I don't have a lot of time to play them anymore, but I play a lot of games, believe it or not, other than Grand and theft auto. And as far as my parents, they are totally 100% supportive. They think it's totally cool that you can do YouTube as a job and that I can play video games for a living. Obviously, it's something that's relatively new in terms of the career aspect, 
because really five or six years ago, this wasn't a thing you could do. So it is a relatively new industry and a relatively new career, but they are 100% supportive of it, which is awesome. I think that that's amazing of them. And it just makes things so much easier knowing you have your full parent support uh, of the career that you really, really want to do. So I really like that. And I think it's amazing. So these next two questions go hand in hand. This first one is from William Halliday. He tweets me, are you going to do a new house tour? Hashtag ask boss. And also from Game Rio, who tweets me, can you do a setup tour of your office? Hashtag ask boss. So let me answer the second one first. As far as a setup tour of my office, I have previous setup videos that are for the most part pretty spot on. Uh, so you can go ahead and watch those. I'll try to leave a link in the description. And I'm moving in 25 days. As William mentioned, I'm moving into a new house. So I wouldn't really want to do a setup video of my office because it would be the exact same thing and I'm moving in about 25 days. And as far as a new house tour, yes, I'm going to be doing a massive house tour. Once it's all set up, I'm going to be doing a new office tour as well. I'll show you guys some like sneak peeks of sort of what the house looks like right now. We're still getting furniture and everything moved in and TV set up and having my office built. It's a huge process that my parents are my uh, obviously helping me with. So it's coming together right now. It's obviously not ready to be shown off or anything like that, but rest assured, I will be doing a full house tour, full office tour. It's going to be really, really cool because I, it's going to obviously going to be a big part of my life and it's going to be where I'm making videos going forward, which is super cool. So yes, I can't wait to show you guys, but right now it's just not fully done soon guys soon. And I'll be able to show that off for you guys. Up next, we got a question from Dan who tweets at me, hashtag ask boss and the next month, are you going to try to do any fan meetups? So I would love to do a ton of fan meetups. The only problem is those kind of only work at events where I know a lot of you guys are potentially going to be at. So whether it's PAX or E3 or a gaming convention or an, an event of some kind, it's funny because I was eating lunch the other day and a, one of you guys, a fan, just came up to me and said, hey, hello, what's going on? And I thought that was really cool. But at the same rate, there's only one of me and there's a lot of you guys and you guys are all spread out around the world. So it does make it difficult. But if I am going to be going to any events this year. I'm still crossing my fingers that I'm going to have time to go to E3 in Los Angeles. So I might see a few of you guys out there. But in the case I don't, I'm trying at least in the rest of 2016 and 2017 to get out to some big major events that you guys will probably be at so we can hang out, take some pictures, have a good time and just, you know, hang out together. That's what I think would be so cool. Up next, we had a question from Tyler who tweeted me, if you weren't doing YouTube, what would you be doing right now? Well, as many of you guys know, I'm still in university or college for those of you guys here in the United States. So I'm getting a degree. So if I wasn't doing YouTube, I'd still have my degree, which was it's in business administration. So I would just be able to go into really any business administration field. Now, I'm not exactly particularly sure what I've been doing, because honestly, for the past three to four years, I've been really solely focusing on YouTube. But at the same rate, I'm still a university student. I still have my university degree. So I'm guessing I would be doing something in that field if I wasn't doing anything in YouTube. Our next question comes from Bailey Price. He says, do you like any particular sports teams or sports players? Hashtag ask boss. Yes, I'm actually a huge sports fanatic, believe it or not. I don't mention it as much on Twitter and on Instagram uh, as you'd probably imagine, but I'm from Atlanta. So I love all the Atlanta sports teams, which is for right now, it's kind of difficult. The only really good team we have in town right now is our basketball team. Uh, and they're actually in the playoffs right now, which is super cool. Uh, but I'm also a fan of just other sports in general. I love uh, football, like European football or soccer, as we call it here uh, in America. I love American football. I love basketball. I love baseball. I'm a really big fan of all the sports. I can't really say I'm into hockey that much, but that's just never really been my thing. But I can still appreciate the sport and the people who play it and the people who enjoy it because it is really action packed. And it's something that I know I certainly couldn't do. I certainly couldn't ice skate around hitting a puck with a stick. So I appreciate and can understand the support for that sport. But I, for the most part, like all of them, and I just enjoy drama and action and excitement, probably like a lot of you guys do. We had a quick question from M. Amen, who states, are you still with your girlfriend? Hashtag ask boss. I am. It's almost been two years, which is super duper cool. Uh, it's going to be obviously really cool not being at school. So I can obviously get to spend more time with her, with my friends, family, uh, and a whole lot more other people. 
And finally, our last question once again comes from Game Rio. And this one I particularly wanted to answer because I'm sure it applies to a lot of you guys right now. And that is, how do you manage your time with your studies and video games? So for me, in when I was in high school and middle school and now even in college, it's all about priorities. So for me, when I felt really good when I was able to get my schoolwork done in my studies, because then I knew I could fully enjoy the video games that I wanted to play. Whereas if I was trying to, you know, intermix and mingle video games with studying, I found that they just kind of counteracted each other and weren't productive. So do what you find to be your priority. If video games are your priority, totally do them 100%. No doubt you go for it. But if studying is definitely your priority and schoolwork is your focus, then get those done first and then you can enjoy your video games and you'll feel better about both and that's sort of the situation that I was put in and it was still really good for me I felt I had a good balance and ultimately worked out perfectly fine but anyways, that's all the questions that we're going to be answering in this q and I was about to say this week's Q&A, but I guess this isn't really a weekly one. Let me know if you want me to do more of these styled Q&As in the comments section down below. And let me know by leaving a like rating on the video. Your support truly would be amazing. And also subscribe to my YouTube channel if you are new or you like daily GTA 5 videos like this. Without the way, guys, like I said, thanks for watching. Take care, and I'll see you guys in the next video.